Dui Beni, Hear Me. Akim and Laila are two young teenagers who are as close as sisters. They live a modest life in a humble neighborhood, but they always envy the rich kids who attend Dogru High School, a secondary school exclusive for the children of wealthy families. One day, a car hits Laila and the culprit flees the crime scene, making his way towards the school and hiding his car in the parking lot. When news spreads that a girl will spend the rest of her life in a wheelchair because of someone from the school, the principal decides to give scholarships to three students from Laila's neighborhood to bury the bad news. Ekim, Bekir and Aise are chosen to start their fresh student life in the city's most prestigious school. But they soon understand that their life is actually about to get harder. They will have to fight to survive among the rich children and they will be surprised to see that the wealthy have very different lives to what they imagine. Kadirimin Oyunu Game of my destiny Asiye, who struggles with her two young children at a young age, devotes herself to the happiness of her children despite all her deprivation and is both a mother and a father to them. Her life turns upside down with the disaster that happened to her daughter Narcissus, whom she avoids from her eyes. After that, Asiya's path crosses with Mahir, an unfamiliar stranger who helps them, who is dragged on an irreversible journey with his children for the sake of protecting his daughter. Mahir, who helps them with humanitarian feelings and takes them to his car, is unaware yet that he will change the fate of both himself and Asiye and their children with this decision he has made. For Asiye, who took refuge in the Demir Han mansion thanks to Mahir, this is not a salvation but the beginning of a whole new war. Ask Mantik Intikam, Love Logic Revenge. This series will tell a story that extends from the logic marriage of waitress Isra and engineer Ozan, who lead her meager life to love. Isra will learn the fact that love doesn't feed her from her mother and will sit at the wedding table with Ozan, whom she has set her sights on for a rational marriage. However, when Ozan's goal in working life clash with the hope of changing Isra's standard of living, the marriage of logic will also crumble. The inevitable end will come with material and moral problems. After the divorce, Ozan will open a software company and become very rich. His path will cross again with Isra, who started to work here and the love aspect of the business which will develop with Venegan will thus emerge. Test Kilat The Agency Mr. Mete met individually with Zehra, Haki, Penar, Kulki, who he thought of in the team and told each of them that everyone who knew them and their families should know they are dead and offered to accept this. Sadar, the most popular name of the agency, is chosen for the leadership of this team, which brings together the best intelligence officers of Teskilat. While Sadar is between his love of homeland and his love Seren, because he will know that Seren is dead as part of this mission. The other members of the team of intelligence officers, each specializing in his field, realize that they will go down an irreversible path. They stun the epic. The story begins with Akkiz stabbing her arrow to Alpagu Khan's heart as she swore. The arrow shoot by Akkiz to take Alpagu Khan's life cannot kill her enemy but makes her a slave to his son Batuga in the enemy's palace. A mountain bird in love with her freedom becomes a slave in the Gok palace which will cost her life if it is learned that she is the shooter. The paths of Akkiz and Batuga who now carry two lives that would cost their lives crossed again after many years. Allies by fate turns into a confidence which turns into a companionship. The hand that will change the fate of the Turks unites here. Batuka is the hidden Khan of the Turks. He will write a Deshan with Akkiz by uniting the Turks and prove to the world that what can a disabled prince and a slave girl can achieve by joining hands. You seek his Kardes. Three sisters. Once upon a time in a beautiful yet mysterious country, there lived three sisters named Turkan, Donas and Darya. As a close-knit family, they would dream of a bright future with their father Sadiq and mother Nasreen. Perhaps such an upbringing that was similar to a fairy tale on the pine-scented streets of Ivalik had not prepared them from the grim reality of adulthood. Over time, the sisters discover that life and choices that are accompanied by it are not as easy as they seem. Inconceivable secrets can be hidden even by those who are trusted the most and horrific illness can lead to the resurrection of the past which eventually bring them to the question, is there anything in the world that time cannot heal? Yargi The Judgment Lawyer Selin and Prosecutor Ilgaz, in their fight to ensure justice, they have the same passion. However, while struggling on this path, two legal people whose methods are at opposite poles, the more rule-bound, honest and strict Ilgaz is, Selin is just as borderless, unregulated and rebellious. That's why every time their paths crossed, they clashed, tested each other and stayed on opposite sides. 
until lies cross their path again. Elgas brought to him as murder case. He is caught unprepared for the shocking blow inflicted on his family by the corpse of a woman found in a garbage container. His brother Sinar is seen as the main suspect in this case. Elgas needs a good lawyer to save his brother, so he comes to the brink of a tough decision. All the features of Selin that he never approves are like the key to the iron bars that will be closed on his brother. Selin and Elgas at this turning point, which they never expected to meet, while questioning the truth that they thought indispensable until today. They will also find themselves floundering in a sea of secrets that they do not know how to swim. Yali Kapkini, The Kingfisher In the TV series Yali Kapkini, the impressive story of a family will be told. In the series, which will be about the events that happen when a strong family from Antap married their irresponsible sons. The events of a girl who fled to Istanbul in love with a young person that the family didn't want. Although she is the daughter of an important tribe in Antap, is the subject of the series. While the series tells a beautiful love story, it also tells a life story that turns into a showdown. Ferit, whose irresponsibility angers his family most, especially his grandfather, Halis, is decided to marry a suitable girl from Gaziantap. Although Ferit doesn't want to get married, he can't get over his grandfather's words. Finding the right bride is the duty of Halis' eldest bride, Ifakas. They are surprised to be experienced at the request ceremony of Suna, who is suitable to be the bride of the Kurhan family in Gaziantap, will affect both Suna and her sister Sera. Kurulas Osman The TV show includes Osman Ghazi's internal and external struggles and how he established and controlled the Ottoman Empire. It portrays his struggles against Byzantium and the Mongols and how he was able to secure independence from the Sultanate of Ram to establish a sovereign state that would stand up to the Byzantine and Mongol Empire and would honor the Turks. The character of Osman faces many enemies and traitors in his quest and the show illustrates how he was able to overcome these obstacles and fulfill his mission with the help of his loyal companions, family and friends. Yusi Kurus, The Bad Penny A serial killer is stalking Singirakli, a tight night Roman neighborhood with little regard for outsiders. He leaves three pennies on each of his victims' body and the case is assigned to the organized crime unit. Its captain, F.A., initially suspects Kartal, a Romani mafia leader who is the neighborhood protector and F.A.'s target. However, as F.A. realizes that Kartal is not the killer, the cop and the mafia leader from an uneasy alliance to find Singirakli's three penny serial killer. F.A. has always looked at Kartal's neighborhood as a breeding ground for criminals and lowlifes, but this case helps him see through the Romani perspective. The unexpected connection between the three penny serial killer and Kartal's tragic past will call into question everything he believes.